Are you looking for a classic cruising sailboat? Then come with me for a quick walkthrough tour on Fear Not. She's a 1995 Hunter 42 foot passage. She's been very well cared for. She's neat and clean. The owner loves her, but he's aging out. And he's looking to pass it on to someone who's gonna love and care with the boat. So anyways, come with me for a quick video tour on Fear Not here at South Mountain Yachts. We start off at the bow on this 1995 42 Hunter Passage. We see we've got an anchor right here with a covered windlass and a hawse pipe for yet a second anchor. Coming down along the starboard side, we see we've got a nice large foredeck with grab rails. We also have the lines right here for safety. We have an aluminum tow rail here also and a pump out. Now the rigging on this vessel was just inspected, cleaned, polished, and any repairs that were needed were done. We've got nice aggressive non-skid decking there, and of course a nice set of dock stairs to make boarding that much easier. Our power connections are right here along with line one and line two. Once aboard, fear not, moving forward, we see we've got lots of windows. All these lenses have been replaced within the past couple years. They're non-original. So they're nice, neat, clean, no glazing on there, and very nice. Here at the bow, we have a covered windlass right here. with lots of line and chain we also have another water fill right in there we've got a roller furling here on this chain sail this gives us a view facing aft we have an aluminum mast and, and that gives us a view of the rigging We've got sail covers. Now the sails are nice and supple. They are original, but they've been cleaned after every use, so they're still nice and supple. We've got our dodger right here. There is a covering for the windows to keep them nice and clean and protected from the UV. Coming down along the starboard side, this gives us another view. We've got a nice aft deck here. Nice size sun pad, great place to lay out. Included with Fear Not is the Life Sling and this four horsepower, two stroke Suzuki. Sorry, no dinghy. This gives us a view of the transom. Now there's a boarding ladder. We also have the Weaver Snap Davits all set up, so she is ready to go. We have a hot and cold transom shower there. And right in here, this is our propane locker. Got another barbecue there. Got a stainless steel radar arch right here. Great place to put a radar pole should you desire. Got Lumar winches right here. This gives us an overview of the cockpit. On the gunnel we have our engine hour meter, tachometer, oil and temperature gauges right there. Here at the pedestal we see we have stainless steel ship's wheel throttle right here and then our shift forward neutral and reverse there got our three inch compass there's our auto helm depth sounder 
knot meter, speedometer, and our autopilot's right. This gives us another view of the cockpit facing aft, circling forward. We've got all of our lines right there. It's all marked. Then over here on this side, this is a power winch so that it's easy to single-handedly sail this vessel. There's a view forward. Cabin through this sliding door. As we can see, she's nicely appointed. The salon has a teak and holly floor to starboard. We have a love seat with storage up underneath. Notice how bright the cabin is. As we circle around, we've got our galley right here. Nice teak appointments, gunnel storage up here. Dedicated storage there. Nice Corian style countertop. Our galley's off to the side right here and down one step. We've got an aggressive non-skid rubberized flooring there because this is where you'll spill different items. Here's our three burner stove with a nice oven right there, nice and clean. We've got a new microwave and then here we have our in-counter refrigerator and freezer side by side. More storage above us. Notice when you're here in the galley you've got multiple lights and you also have windows and an overhead hatch. Here we have our double stainless steel sink. And one of the nice things is when you're in the galley you're still part of the entertainment. Our port side amenities include an oversized U-shaped sofa. Our table can be lowered for yet another sleeping area. And then we have this ottoman right here for more seating and there's storage in there. As we move forward, we have our TV. Now that space is actually big enough. You could put like a 36 inch TV there should you want to. Got storage on underneath there. As we move forward, down one step, we see we have nice privacy door on the berth. We've got about seven feet of headroom in here. Hanging locker, seating areas, storage under that berth. Included are our four deck lounge pads right there. Another little seating area. And this is a nice little makeup table, uh, vanity, desk, whatever. The dish TV is not included with this, so don't get excited. Here we have our day head, fully lined fiberglass. She's got a new toilet, all new plumbing with macerator and holding tank. Fully lined fiberglass, so she's easy to keep clean. And we have some nice teak appointments right there. Circling back through the salon. Now as we move aft, we see we've got a chart table right here. Stuff storage. Here's our power panel. DC on one side, AC on the other side. This is also set up for generator and air conditioning. The boat does not have it. We've got our solenoid control right here for our gas stove. Our inverter another VHF radio right there, and yet more storage here. Behind this door is our battery switches, 
and our inverter panel right there. Access to the engine is through this door, and there we have that Yanmar four cylinder diesel direct drive engine. Heading to the master suite, we've got our privacy door. Got another vanity slash desk right there. Nice little seating area with storage up underneath. Lots of headroom. And at least nine hatches and port lights right here. We've got a double wide island bed, storage up underneath. And then we've got hanging lockers off to one side right there. You notice we've got nice teak appointments. Fear not is neat, clean, odor free, very well cared for, and ready for the next owner. Here we have the head for the master suite. And again, nicely appointed with teak finishes. And here's what I call an LLI. Ladies like it. Have a little tub with a seating area in the shower. As we pull back out, this gives us another view of the master suite back here. Fear Not is a well cared for, nicely appointed 42 Hunter Passage. She's been well cared for and the owner is looking to continue having it loved. So viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.